Hey guys, uh, just got my 2021 Skeeter SX210 Bay Boat in. I've had it on order from Skeeter for almost three months. Uh, <clears throat> this is the Ocean Illusion. I had originally ordered this boat in 2020 in July and it was supposed to be seafoam. They changed the color. It's kind of a darker green. I like it. I've got a gray, uh, the light gray stripe, pro stripe on the bottom, matching seats with that. So I kind of want to give a, do a video of things that you don't typically see on other videos. Uh, when I bought this boat, I had a lot of questions about compartments and battery storage, that kind of stuff. And um, I watched numerous videos on YouTube and nowhere does it show you the things that I wanted to know. I had to wait till the boat got here and then kind of figure it out as I went. <clears throat> so I've got the Ultrix, uh, to, uh, Minn Kota Ultrix, 36 volt, 60 inch shaft. Uh, works really well on this boat. Um, I ordered the steps. This was a great addition. Highly recommend this. Getting in and out of the boat, launching the boat and hooking it back up. Loading it, you can go up and down on the front, hook it, go right back up. Well worth the money. I would spend the, I think it was around $500 for that those steps. I think uh, they've kind of changed pricing a little bit on the 2021s. I ordered this boat in 2020. So with that said, it was a little bit cheaper, but I got a 2021 boat for 2020 pricing. So we're going to work our way around to the back of the boat. <clears throat> Large casting platform on the front. Uh, I put the offset swivels. I put these in. I had Skeeter put three seat bases in, which was one in the center and then two in the back of the boat. I'll show you in a second. Uh, I had the dealership add this one and the other one in over there. I do a lot of crappie fishing primarily and one of two people to be able to sit up front. Let's work our way to the back of the boat. <clears throat> it does have uh, oil bath hubs, which is something that's not told about the trailer it is a very heavy built trailer uh everything is welded on it it's not like your typical magic tilt trailers that have both this portion bolts together with a tube and i've seen them literally fall apart i've got two friends that have had nothing but hell out of theirs and <clears throat> so it is a trailer it is, does have carpet it's not bunks but it is all built in welded specifically for this boat it's not adjustable uh rollers or anything like that on it. It's all welded specifically for the SX210 boat. It's got uh, pretty heavy fenders. They don't they don't rock around, not like your typical diamond plate fenders that you see. They're pretty solid. I did not upgrade the wheels. This was the standard wheels. Like I said, it does have oil bath, which is great. Whole lot better than uh, greasable bearings, in my opinion. Last a lot longer and you never have to mess with them. Uh, I ordered the swim platform. <clears throat> this was about a $600 option. Um, I like it. Uh, no, really no complaints about it. It is hard to stow the ladder from on it if you're on the water. It's easy to do it from the ground to get in and out of the boat. But if you're on the water, it's kind of a pain in the rear to put this up because it slides in. But it's got, kind of got a funny catch right here. You have to, it's hard to do this with one hand, but... Anyways, you can't do it with one hand. It has to be done with two hands. So, uh, got the Atlas jack plate. Hydraulic jack plate. Love that. I opted with the Yamaha 150, which is plenty for this boat. It runs about 45 miles an hour. Um, I'm still in the braking process. I've only got about five and a half hours on this boat. Um, Reliance prop. But the op op option to go to a 200 Yamaha, this model FX was $9,000. And they say you only get around 51 out of that, but it does have better hole shots. So, but I think the motor's plenty for this boat. It was a recommended motor, so I went with it and saved nine grand. Working our way, way around to the other side. <clears throat> uh, does not have retractable uh, tie downs which I will be adding on. I wish Skeeter would have, when you consider an $8,000 trailer, you kind of think that they would have that. I bought this at Texas Boat World in Harker Heights, Texas. Um, Wes was my salesman, great guy to work with, beat everybody's price 
on this boat. I shopped all the way from Texas to Georgia, North Carolina, Louisiana, South Texas, Florida, and he beat everybody's price on ordering a new boat. So go see Wes, tell him that I sent you. It does come with an Engel cooler, 80 quart Engel cooler, heavy built cooler, just like a Yeti. Um, better latches, it does not have the rubber latches. It's got a kind of a compression latch, which I like better. And um, I added the two seat bases in back here where you see these seats at. Just get go down the highway with them back there. I like them better back there instead of in the front. Does have the jump up two uh, jump seats that fold up. You have a small storage area underneath there, which you can see on other videos. I'm not going to go into that. There's tons of videos on YouTube about this boat. I really kind of wanted to just show you things that are not on YouTube that I have not seen uh, during my three month wait for this boat. I researched every video on YouTube pertaining to Skeeter Bay boats. Uh, <clears throat> the console is very nice. I like the rod holders. I did get the uh, rail. That was a $600 option for this rail, but I do like it. It protects the glass and it also gives you some place to grab a hold of, especially when walking around the uh, uh, console and when you're on the water. I'm going to go ahead and step up here to the front and get this knocked out. Uh, this is a I've got live scope on this boat. I built my own transducer pole. As of right now, mounted it with a round mount. I can flip that over to the side of the boat right here, and it works pretty well. Not the best setup in the world, but it was definitely the cheapest. Um, I used one and a quarter inch black pipe with one inch black pipe inside, sleeved it, put these two uh, knobs here, and a set pin at the top. Works. It is very, very sturdy. I built this myself in my shop, and looks pretty good, I think. Um, got truck bed coating for Rust-Oleum truck bed coating on it. It blends in, looks just like the uh, factory gimbal mounts from uh, Garmin and Humminbird. And let's mosey on to the back. I'm going to go ahead and actually we'll go up the ladder here. Ladder is great. <laughs> get in <clears throat> I know everyone has already seen these the rod box has it on the side here roto molded on the inside um, got a large storage area here in the front that's a Plano box with six uh, bins in it <clears throat> folded over I've got that's a full-size throwable in the back. Just kind of give you an idea how big this compartment is. I would probably say it's about three foot, three foot uh, to the back and probably about three foot to the front and about 14 inches deep. Lots of storage in it. Everything's on compression hinges and gas struts. Same thing over here on this side. And then I, like I said, I had the dealership add these extra seat bases in. So if you decide you want to put three in, there is room to do that. It's got a um, lockers, I mean, a anchor storage in the front. I don't usually use an anchor, but what I did was put all of my black box from my Garmin Life Scope in there, mounted to the side of it. All my wiring is in there, and it hides it very well. It's kind of messed up right now. Uh, Things are laying around the deck, so I apologize for that. It's not the way it normally is. I've got a Humminbird 899 side imaging, and then I've also got my Garmin 1222 with live scope set up on that. Here in the floor is a pretty large area. This is a wet area. Uh, I just throw an old extra life jacket in there and my cast net, a couple buoys. And it's probably about 14 inches wide, or I'm sorry, 14 inches deep. Probably about 26 inches long, wide, however you want to do it. Let's just call it 26 by about 14. And then it's probably around 16 inches deep. Uh, I don't think a five gallon bucket will stand up in it in the bottom, but I haven't checked it. It could.
you have your front bait well. I like this plastic latch. I'm not real impressed with that, but the, everything else is stainless steel latches. Got compression hinges, front bait well. Uh, it's pretty cool. Screw in uh, overflow pipe. Right here on the front, I'm going to show you has a plastic latch. This is the back of it. <clears throat> this goes down into my bait well. I'm, I'm sorry, into my battery compartment. Um, I've got a Minn Kota Precision Charger mounted on this front lip. Sorry guys for the light. They don't have the light working on this. But I have, uh, there's the Ethernet switch for Hummingbird. We're going to come around here to the back. <clears throat> this has a plastic tray that typically sits right in here and latches down. Like so. We pull that out to gain access to the underneath side. And, man, I can't get this light on, guys. I'm sorry. But I know this is dark and you can't see anything. But I do have three Group 27 batteries on this side. I've got a Group 27 for just my electronics. And then a group 24 starting battery so there's five batteries in there uh pretty tight but there is room for five batteries i'm uh 27s don't think you could get uh 31s in there not with five of them anyways so um it does have blue led lights on the very bottom it's got three of those one on each side of the console one on the front and then it also has courtesy white courtesy lights all around the console so pretty cool at night with the blue lights i've got a hummingbird uh helix 9 in dash mount you can see that there's probably not enough room for another nine you could probably put another seven in beside it if you want to just use mapping uh, or something that humming that uh, skeeter i wish would do it was maybe put a glove box in there so you could store your wallet and that kind of stuff um <clears throat> something this boat did not come with is a 12 volt receptacle come on skeeter step up your game and put the 12 volt receptacles in the boats i had the dealership wire this in um cost me about 75 dollars to have them do it but i wanted a 12 volt receptacle um another thing is a seat this is pretty cool this is a very good storage area you can put a you see i've got a uh, life jacket old towel just junk i mean it's it's not huge but small items crappie niblet sunscreen a knife your wallet that's where i put my wallet and keys and stuff at it locks down and you don't have to worry about about it jumping out or anything getting under there slam hinge works great uh back here at the back there is a Apartment here that lifts up behind the cooler goes down to your bilge pumps all your uh, gas tank and so forth at the very back you've got a another access port this goes down I know it's dark guys again I apologize but it goes down into here and you can access your bilge pumps high speed pickups your water separator and all that so it's pretty well thought out the way skeeter did this um, a lot of access you've got six more uh, rod holders here so there's 14 total six on the back of the seat and then four on each side of the console i love that i don't even really use a lot the rod box because you could if you want to lock it up they're all lockable uh i got the fusion stereo comes with four speakers this is the fusion stereo this was another thing that was not explained on their website the box that actually can that controls the fusion stereo is down in the bottom and this is just a, a control pod pod you can use the volume keys on it you can cycle through bluetooth um, it sounds really good really really good um, 800 dollars option it should for 800 dollars, but it was pretty good i like it digital gauges trim you've got a lot of options on your gauges yamaha gauges to tell you everything um 
all your lights light up on these switches at night with red indicators and they are the um, plastic style with a rubber boot on them drink holder so overall so far I've got about five and a half hours on this boat really like the boat <clears throat> uh, drink holders up here more stereo speakers small steps I think Skeeter could have done something here I don't know maybe carried that over and put another storage compartment or I don't know more deck spacing I'm not sure but but people are smarter than me figure this out so anyway guys I hope y'all have enjoyed the tour of my boat um, I hope I've answered some questions that you possibly uh, did not know before about the battery compartment the 12 volt system uh, the floor storage that was some things that I wasn't sure about 12 volt receptacle mosquito does not put on there um, so anyway over so far it's been a good boat so far uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch y'all later comment below if you have any questions and i'll try to get on and answer anything i can answer for you all right guys thanks